We welcome you to this meaningful meditation. We're outside again, not as windy as last week, and we especially wanted to come um, outside to show you around a little bit here at University Presbyterian Church. We're blessed to have 16 acres in which we have our many buildings as well as the home uh, that I live in with my family. And there's gonna be a direct connection where I'm going with kind of the surroundings that we live in as well as the text that we are gonna study this Sunday from the Gospel of John. We're starting a new series that we're excited about living a faithful life, looking at the beginning of Jesus' ministry and all the lessons that we can learn from him as he went about his days. Uh, this Sunday, we're especially looking at a wedding that he went to with his mom, uh, the wedding at Cana, just a small wedding. It was a celebration and a time uh, for them to come together. And there's this funny discourse right at the beginning of the passage where his mom, Mary, says they're about ready to, to run out of wine. And Jesus is like, what do you want me to do about it? Uh, she doesn't argue with him. She tells those in charge to listen to him and to do what he tells them to do. I think she trusts in him that there's going to be a solution. And indeed there is. He does turn uh, the water into wine and there's just overflowing abundance of it and it just strikes me at how often we look at our lives with kind of the smallness of life instead of the abundance that Christ intends for us to have. Uh, here on the grounds when we first moved in I noticed this little tree that was close to our home and I wondered how it was going to be able to grow because it was in a pretty confined space and so last fall it was moved up to a larger space you'll see here next to some really big trees that were planted years ago and it just is always a reminder to me as I'm walking up um, to work and to the church is how we look at our life with the smallness instead of of the largeness that God brings to us and that sense of abundance. So I hope, especially as we may be struggling in uh, January and kind of the gloominess, that we can really look at our lives and, and the great abundance of life and that we have that um, not so much as we're growing taller or wider, but that our hearts are growing and they're ready to, to really overflow to others and help them to feel that abundance. So. This Sunday, uh, we will have worship at 10 o'clock and then a Super Sunday afterwards, which is our adult forums in which often we'll have guests come in. This Sunday, we have a guest, Sharon Barconi from the Presbytery of Detroit, who's going to teach us some more about a new uh, movement within our denomination, the Matthew 25 movement, some ministries and ways that we can really be more vital as congregations and caring about our siblings in Christ uh, around the world. So join us this Sunday. 10 a.m. Uh, in person and then 11 15 ish for our super sunday we will also be live streaming uh, the service at 10 and the super sunday at 11 15 so you can look about this uh, on our social media pages and also on our website so thanks for joining me for this meaningful meditation and joy and abundance uh, for your journey as you go forward amen <music>